Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming. It's so nice to have a standing room only crowd. Um, we're here in the Ridge College of Intelligence Studies and, it, and Applied Sciences to make two pivotal announcements today. And it is my pleasure to introduce the president of Mercyhurst University to share our news with you. Please help me welcome Michael Victor. Good morning to our guests, members of the Mercer's community, and members of the news media. Thank you for coming. I think that we all know the reach and the reputation of the Intelligence Studies program at the Ridge College. It is one of our university's signature initiatives, the most sought after major on our campus, and a program that has earned an international reputation from DC to the Emerald Isle. The idea of educating intelligence analysts who could hit the ground running in careers spanning national security, business, and law enforcement came to us more than 25 years ago. Yes, at that time, universities around the country, including ours, were producing outstanding history graduates, highly competent political science graduates, and yet those who arrived at agencies like the Department of Defense, and the FBI began their careers as analysts did not have the necessary work-ready training. Our program made that need for that training, at least in terms of our graduates, obsolete. Today, our Intel graduates are employed in all 17 U.S. intelligence agencies, scores of law enforcement organizations, and a broad cross-section of corporate America including a number of Fortune 500 companies. From terrorism to the world of cybersecurity and big data, to corporate risk management, we continue to up our game to ensure that our intelligence studies majors emerge as the best equipped graduates in the field. Which brings me to the first of today's announcements. We all recognize the widespread incidence of cyber threats around the world. We understand the seriousness of these threats and the need to guard against them. We also know that jobs in cybersecurity are growing at a robust pace. A recent report from Cisco puts the global figure of cybersecurity job openings at 1 million, with demand expected to rise to 6 million by 2019. Mercyhurst will be ready today. It is my pleasure to announce that the Cleveland-based national technology company, MCPC, is investing $1 million to build a state-of-the-art cyber lab and high-security network operations center in Mercyhurst Hammer Mill Library. We anticipate that it will be operational by the spring of 2018. The cyber lab will include approximately 20 workstations and be used as a teaching and learning facility by Mercyhurst Intelligence Studies students and faculty. The Operations Center will accommodate at least 16 students who will be paid at industry rates to handle cyber issues for actual MCPC clients. Their work will be managed and guided by an on-site MCPC associate. It goes without saying that the Operations Center will provide a hands-on learning opportunity second to none, and will put Mercyhurst in the fortunate position of being one of a handful of universities in the country to have this kind of capability right on our campus. Once again, we fully expect to develop a pipeline of work-ready talent to help meet our nation's cyber needs. Now, at this time, I would like to introduce the CEO of MCPC, Andy Jones, who's traveled from Cleveland to be with us today. Andy will take a few moments to talk to you about our partnership and the far-reaching impact of our new cyber facilities. I should point out that the renderings you see here are courtesy of our architect on the project, Kidder Walker Associates. I believe Jeff Kidder is with us. Jeff, raise your hand. Welcome. Thank you. 
And now it is my pleasure to welcome Andy Jones. Andy. Good morning. It's my pleasure to be here at Mercyhurst today. With me, for, with me here from MCPC is Dale Phillips. Dale, if you'd raise your hand who heads up our cybersecurity business unit and our simplicity business unit, which focuses on small business and medium-sized business. Mr. Bob Ekman, our chief information security officer. Mr. Peter Anagnosis, our vice president of marketing. Matt Lechner, who leads up our Erie practice and business. And Mr. Russ Forker, who works every day but claims he's retired. <laughs> MCPC and Forker merged in 2014 for us Joining forces with Russ and Matt and their team was a perfect match. We each brought something special to the partnership. Today, MCPC employs 30 associates and we hope to grow that number with this partnership with Mercyhurst. Let me explain. It's a pretty simple formula. For us to grow, we need new customers. We also need the talent that can help serve those customers. That talent is an important outcome of the Secure Network Operations Center we are locating here at Mercyhurst. It won't only be to gain, to benefit MCPC, we believe that it will benefit Erie and the region as well, and hopefully will be served by this investment. Hence, our investment really is in students. That not only means business improvement, it means helping grow the region in jobs and in its economy. That kind of thinking around the belief that youth around the belief in our youth has always been characterized at MCPC under Mike Treblecock our founder and his leadership let me give you an example in Cleveland to help young people get a start in life we're investing in a rowing and sailing center why rowing and sailing well we like you live on a lake and a river Sorry. <laughs> and those two sports, those two sports teach teamwork and are great pathways, especially rowing for college, for middle school and high school student athletes. Our rowing and sailing facilities, which we invite you to come and tour, are also great investments in Cleveland. Rowing and sailing are reasons to move to, live in, and stay in Cleveland. The Network Operations Center is another reason to study at Mercyhurst. Before I conclude, let me take a moment to describe MCPC for you. We're headquartered in Cleveland and do business nationally. There are technology companies that do some of the things we do, but not all of the things we do, especially in the Midwest. Our customers include big and small hospitals, banks like First National Bank, manufacturers like GE Transportation, and many Fortune 500 companies such as Sherwin-Williams, Progressive, Timken, and Parker, Hanneman, Parker Hannifin, just to name a few. Customers turn to us to help them select, deploy, manage, and recycle the technology they use in their business. Technology such as their laptops, tablets, desktops, phones, etc., And so many other devices that contain the data and technology that we don't traditionally think of as computers, whether that's medical devices used in hospitals or homes, or to the devices that go into the train systems that you build in a, into a GE uh, engine. We call this secure technology logistics. The universe of those devices uh, is known as the Internet of Things. And as, as you know, that universe is expanding faster than even Einstein could have calculated. As President Victor noted, at the facu and, and as the faculty of the Ridge College know, that universe is under constant attack by cyber threats. That was a big reason why we are here today. Our business and the thousands of businesses President Victor alluded to in his remarks rely on Mercyhurst and the Ridge College to educate the talent that can deal with these threats and allow technology to do what we believe it is most capable of doing, which is to improve the human condition. President Victor originally asked us to build a cyber lab. We responded by offering to build the next to the lab a secure network operations center that would employ Mercyhurst students. A real network operations center that would serve real customers, our customers. What better way to prepare students for the workforce of tomorrow than placing them in those very jobs while they're students? That's a one in a million investment. Because security plays a big part in our business, 
We are honored to be associated with the Ridge College. We are excited about being part of the Erie business community and eventually the downtown Erie Innovation District. Our message to the Erie business community is this. If you're a company in Greater Erie, please give us a chance to be your partner. Your investment is an investment back into your community. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. I know I speak for everyone at Mercyhurst when I thank MCPC for its generosity and commitment to advancing our cyber program. We're going to be talking a little bit about um, some of the academic uh, changes at the Ridge College and um, the leadership that is going to be uh, for this partnership. And so I'd like to introduce uh, some of our new faculty. I'm not a betting man, but I know a trifecta when I see one. Today I have the pleasure of announcing not one, not two, but three new leaders of our Intelligence Studies program. Following a national search for a new dean to head the Ridge College of Intelligence Studies and Applied Science, we have chose Dr. Duncan E. McGill. Most recently, Dr. McGill was the Associate Dean of the College of Strategic Intelligence at the National Intelligence University in Washington, D.C. There, he managed the academic, personal, financial, and administrative affairs of the college while communicating its vision to the intelligence community, the U.S. Department of Defense, and the academic community. He is a retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel who served as a nuclear and counterproliferation officer in various commands. He had joint duty assignments at the Defense Threat Reduction Agency in the Defense Intelligence Agency. His research focuses on science and technology issues affecting US national security, among them cyber, weapons of mass destruction, emerging and disruptive technologies, and the IED capabilities in Iraq. Duncan, please stand to be recognized. Next, we have tapped U.S. Navy cyber analyst Chad Griffin to direct our cyber operations, including the new cyber lab. He has 20 years of professional experience with computer information systems and technology, and for 14 of those years, he provided IT, cybersecurity, and intelligence analysis to the U.S. Navy and U.S. Pacific Command in Hawaii. Yes, we have told him about Erie Winters, and he still plans to stay. <laughs> Chad, please take a bow. <laughs> Finally, let me introduce the individual who will head up our data science program, one of the hottest fields in the country today. For the past nine years, Dr. Asfal Upal has served as a senior data scientist for Canada's De uh, Department of National Defense, working closely with intelligence analysts in the Canadian Armed Forces to develop tools to support their work. He is a skilled in machine learning, a type of artificial intelligence that affords software applications more accuracy in predicting outcomes. We're delighted that he has chosen to be here at Mercyhurst University. Asfal, please stand to be recognized. As most of us here at Mercyhurst know, this past spring we announced the promotion of one of our Ridge College faculty to head our undergraduate program in Intelligence Studies. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize him publicly, Dr. Orlandrew Denzel. I am also pleased to announce that one more Intel hire for the fall, Dr. Benjamin Bauman. Um, he could not be here today, but he will be a tremendous asset to the law enforcement side of Intel. He comes from Raleigh, North Carolina Police Department, where he was a detective and a crime analyst. He is also an, he also, he is also an instructor whose disciplines blend psychology and criminal justice. He will join us next month. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Dowsey. We could go on and on about these individuals, but suffice it to say, they are among the best of the best, and we have every confidence that their tenure here will be absolutely transformative. And to all the news media in the audience, uh, I want you to stay in touch with my public relations director, Debbie Morton. She has their full bios, and she's ready to produce these high-level experts as sources for your stories, be they on terrorism, hacking, and assorted cyber threats, big data, or the criminal mind. We've got you all covered. <laughs> so thank you, and as we say at Mercier's Carpe Diem. Debbie? At this time, I'd like to invite the news media to conduct their one-on-one -on -one interviews. Everybody else, please help yourself to refreshments. And if you could all stay nearby, because we'd like to get some photos. Thank you. Thank you.